Working with scatter plots can give you many different possibilities. In the case of this video, we're going to be talking about lines of best fit. If you look at our example here, this red line is the line of best fit. In this video, we're going to show you how to draw the line of best fit and teach you a couple helpful tips. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about lines of best fit in regards to scatter plots. So, a line of best fit is a straight line drawn on a scatter plot that best represents the data of that scatter plot. A line of best fit should be drawn as close as possible to all the points on a scatter plot. So the line of best fit can go through all of the points, some of the points, or none of the points. If possible, you want to try to have the same amount of points on either side of the line. So just for a quick example, if we had a scatter plot that looked like this, a line of best fit would try to go as close to all of the points as possible. Ideally, you would have the same amount of points on one side of the line as you have on the other side of the line, but it doesn't always necessarily work out that way. Now after you have your line of best fit drawn, you have to find the equation of that line. The first thing you have to do is you have to find the y-intercept from the graph. Next, you determine the slope by counting the rise and the run from the graph. And then finally, you write your equation in slope-intercept form. And just a quick reminder, slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. Let's jump down and complete some guided practice problems. The directions for our practice problem say draw the line of best fit for each scatter plot. So in order to do that, you have to evaluate the data that you're given. So in this case, our data in our scatter plot is located in a sort of upward motion or going upward from left to right. In order to draw a line of best fit for this, what we need to do is we need to sort of try to guess or estimate a straight line that would go through as many of the points as possible or as close to all of the points as possible. In the case of this one, it would sort of go up in this upward left to right motion. So moving on to number two, we have to draw our line of best fit. So our line of best fit needs to be as close to all of the points as possible. So as we do this, we want to start somewhere in this area and we want to end up somewhere in this area. If we draw a straight line across here as best that we can, we will end up with a good representation of all of the data that is on our scatter plot. So you will notice that we have pretty close to the amount of the same dots on one side of the line as we do on the other side of the line. Number three is no different. We want to start somewhere in this area and we want to end up somewhere in this area. So as we draw our line of best fit or our straight line, it will be as close to all of the points as possible. Okay. Moving on to the second part of our guided practice, we are given the directions to write the equation of the line in best fit in slope intercept form for each scatter plot. Now you should recall that slope intercept form is equal to y equals mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y intercept.
So jumping down to number one, we have our line of best fit already drawn. The first thing we need to determine is we need to determine the y-intercept. So in order to determine the y-intercept, you find where the line crosses the y-axis. In the case of this line, it crosses right here at 1. So our y-intercept is going to be 1. The next thing we need to do is we need to determine the slope. In order to determine the slope, we have to start at our y-intercept and we have to go up and over or in order to find the rise and the run. So we pick a spot where the line crosses the graph perfectly. In this case, it crosses right here at x is 2, y is 2. Then we count how much we go up by. So we go up 1, and we go over, or our run is 2. So our rise is 1, our run is 2. So our slope is going to be 1 over 2. Then you take your slope, you substitute it in for m, and your y-intercept, and you put it in for b. So our final equation for our line of best fit is y equals 1 half x, because now 1 half is m, plus 1, because 1 is b. Jumping over to number two. Number two, we're going to follow the same process. So we know that we have to write our line of best fit into slope intercept form. Here's our line of best fit, which is already drawn on our scatter plot. We have to determine what the y intercept is. So you go to your line, you find where it crosses the y axis. In this case, it crosses right here at nine. So we know our y intercept is going to be nine. The next thing we do is we find another point on the line that crosses the graph perfectly, or crosses right where the graph crosses. So right here we have a point, right here we have a point, right here we have a point. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count the rise and the run. So in order to go from this point to this point, we actually go down one, which would be negative, and we go over one. Same thing goes for this one. It is down one and it is over one. So our slope or our rise is negative one and then our run is positive one. Now you can reduce this because negative one divided by positive one is just negative one. So now that we know our slope is negative one, we're going to take our slope and substitute it in for m and we also know that our y-intercept is 9 and we're going to take 9 and we're going to substitute it in for b. So our final solution to our equation for our line of best fit here is going to be y equals negative 1 x plus 9. If you found this video helpful make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.